Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. I am winding down my weekend. This is Monday night and I'm getting ready to finish cleaning up my craft room. It is an absolute mess. But um, I have, let's see, I have project shares and I have a haul. I know, I know you guys. This is too funny. I had to go do my pedicure, get my eyebrows done. What else? Um, yeah, so I went out today for not long, but I ended up going by Tuesday mornings. Not because it was near me or close by or any of that kind of stuff. I just decided to go to see if... No, because I bought a punch, and it was the flower punch. And I realized I kept seeing 3 eighths. Well, when I looked at the punches that I bought the other day, it said 7 eighths. So I went back to Tuesday morning. This is really the excuse that I'm using to see if they had that 3 8 peony punch by Marvy, I think it was, but or McGill, one of them, I don't know. But it was part of a flower punch. So that's the excuse that I used to go back to Tuesday morning today. But I'm going to show you first before I even show you the Tuesday morning stuff. A project share of some stuff that I'm doing. This is a cigar box. That I am actually working on right now. This is one of the ones that I'm almost finished. I am running into a few problems here but this is a sewing one um, I think the person she said the only thing I have to do to this is finish the inside I have to do a couple of tags to put on the inside um, put a name on it it is so purple but um, she wanted purples so I did purple but this requires so much because I used, I did get my lace Saturday so I had to actually wait to actually finish the boxes but this is one of the boxes that is sewing and you all tell me what you think all of them are supposed to look kind of shabby chic that's the sewing one this is the flower she liked flowers on this one. This one is not quite finished yet, but I'm all over the place with it. And I don't think I did the, oh yeah, I even did some of the inside. And I haven't done the back yet, the bottom. That's what I haven't done yet. Okay, and I'm trying to contemplate. I think I'm going to do one uh, of the river rocks, one level instead of stacking them. But this is what I've done so far, but I'm kind of stuck with this one. So I have to sit and look at this for a minute. But this is how it's trimmed, this layered. It's, it's just lots of purple. And I think that's what I'm trying to get past, all the purple. And this one is the couture one. Okay. So, I have, I've started it. I haven't finished the inside yet. I've done the bottom. And this one has two river rocks on it. But, I'm, I don't know if, well, I'm going to leave it like that. But, I'm trying to figure out the rest of this here. I hope I don't end up tearing it off. You guys tell me. Okay. I think it's the purple. All the purple that's throwing me off. So, these are for Anna. Anna, you tell me if those are what you were thinking you wanted. If they are, I'll go ahead and finish them. But they, I probably won't finish them until this coming weekend. And here is the start of the black one. I just kind of, I painted it up. That's all. I haven't papered it, haven't decorated it or anything. All of them are supposed to be shabby chic when I end up with them. And okay, I have to go over here, so bear with me. I had to do, I had to even stop your projects for a minute because I had a swap um, and my partner was Terry, E01 and we had to do pin cushions. And you've probably seen this on my desk before. We had to do 
stick pins with the pin cushion presentation. So this is Terry's and these are her pins. Let me push these here. Aren't these pretty? Terry, I should keep these for me. No, I was joking. But anyway, I'm trying to push. Yeah, there you go. These are her pins. This is her little pin cushion. I had fun making these. And this is for a swap that we're doing over at Ink the Edges. Yeah. So she has some uh, little jewel things under there. It's just a pin cushion with uh, the lace around the little cup. I got the little teacup and saucer from the thrift store. Um, yeah, so that's her little pin cushion. And I was supposed to send her a box last week and told her, Oops, wait a minute. Why don't I just wait, do your project, and send it in your project. So that's what... I mean, send it in your box with the rest of your stuff. But anyway, that's the stuff that I was working on. But I went to Tuesday morning this morning. It was just quick. And I found this Martha Stewart liners. Yeah. Um, and they had some little bowls with them. And I, I, They didn't have much of anything. Nothing new, I don't think. Um, I found some brats and they were what 99 cents so I think they had these before I probably picked up some before I picked up more I know every time I see these the um crocodile three corners I pick them up but they had a bunch of different ones and I keep picking them up so I only picked up these they were also 99 cents for the little corners but I only picked up those five packs um Yes, I picked up some more of these, and they were $1.49. Um, matter of fact, she told me they were putting out more stuff, but I told her I'll come back later. I only found one more of these, and I'm thinking about making a stick pen for each one of the boxes. So, they had some pretty, aren't those pretty? See the purple on there? So, I figured I would, and I'm sure I have some more of these this color. So I saw those, they were purple, so I said, okay, I'll use those. Then they had these, and I figured I could make some little ends to go in my art journaling books. And then they had some pretty glitter, and it was green. So, of course, you know what I thought. What did I think for this? Yeah, I use it for the Julie Nutting uh, doll, the, the mermaid. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys something that was so cool that I found. Okay. Then I found some more of these, and now I just keep buying them every time I see them. But, yeah, I got those. Those were $4.99. This was $0.49 cent each, so, yeah, I got that. And this little one, I like to tell y'all the prices just in case you want to go get them if they're reasonable enough. And I got some more of the paper glaze. So, yeah, this is what I thought was the coolest, but I didn't realize what they were. I looked at them. And I looked at the back of them, but look, I should have gotten two of these. These were $2.99, but let me show you. And they're little coasters. Really, they're not as thick as coasters or what my idea of coasters are. But I wanted them for the images. Look at the images, you guys. Isn't that the greatest? Look at the little images. Yes, yeah, so I wanted them for the images. And I thought that was so cool. Yeah, so they each have four images on them. And like I said, they're called coasters. They were over, I don't know. I go in Tuesday morning and I pretty much look around. Um, yeah. To see what I can find given, you know, I have enough time. And these, these four images are on there. No, one, two, three. These three images, four of each. Aren't those cute? Um, but it's for it's wine commercials, really. It's just advertisements for wine. Wine a little, you'll feel better. It has uh, cheers. I'd make the toast, but I don't cook. Yeah, so. But I just thought the images itself. You could probably even cut away the wine at glasses if you don't want them there. But even with them there, they look okay. But these are, yeah, these are cute and would look good on 
some of those pages there. And the only other thing they had was a bunch of papers. So yeah, um, and I noticed it was a lot of the holiday paper. I bought a few sheets like um, this, and it was it's a dollar ninety nine, and they're full sheets for. I don't even know if there's anything on the other side. Oh, yes, it is. And that's a cute image on the other side. This is, um, yes, and that's the other side. Yes, yeah, so this was a Christmas uh, stack, and it was $1.99. Now, this one was a Christmas pack, so they had Christmas and Halloween paper. So if you're looking for, and this is crepe paper, this is the stack that's in there. And look like this would work great for December Daily if you're looking for it. It's called Sleigh Ride, and it's by Crate Paper. And, uh, yeah, so if you do December Dailies, this would be a good paper to use. Yeah, so that's a good one. That's a Christmas one. And then I got the Darling Deer. Now, I have the paper pack, but this has stickers in it, too. Yeah, I can't. I will show you the sticker, but these were three ninety nine. Yes, yeah, so they have that, and the rest of them are Halloween papers, like this one, and that was a dollar ninety nine, and this one, and you know you get the twenty five sheets, and that's a round sheet, dollar ninety nine. That's a cute. That would even make a good book, a mini, or you could put them in your junk journals or whatever. So, and this paper pack. $1.99. Let me see if the other side of this is, uh, nope, the other side is blank, so, and it's, oh, it's flocked. Yeah, that's flocked. So you can use this, any, this doesn't necessarily, other than the fact that it's, it's not, yeah, it's flocked. That's what it is. So other than the fact that it's orange and black, it'll still make a great many. And then they had these. And this is the second pack of transparencies that I've gotten. And that's this one. How cool is that? One Spooky Night. How cool is that? And these were $1.99. And then this is definitely Halloween paper. And it was $1.99. And then this is canvas core paper, and it was $2.99, so yeah, there's bunches of that, and this is one-sided. And this was a Seven Gypsies paper, and I think I have this already? I don't know. But anyway, it's called Burrow, and it's $2.99. And the back side is brown, so if you can't use one side, you can use that. And this right here is spooky, and it was $1.99 also. So, yeah, that's really all I got from, oh, no, I got two more. Tuesday morning, this one, and this one, yeah. So, and these were $2.99 also. So, if you're looking for more paper, I'm never looking for paper, but I always seem to get paper. That is my um, Tuesday morning haul and my project shares and the end of my crafting so I am getting ready to call it quits for tonight and for the rest of the week so I will be getting uh, packages in the mail by I have one package that's due by the 21st please Anna if you like your boxes or the start of your boxes let me know um, and I can go ahead and finish them up for the weekend. And uh, for all of you watching, tell me what you think about the boxes so far. I would really appreciate your comments before I mail them off to her. So, um, or finish them off. At least I know what to do with them. So, um, yeah, tell me what you think. And I guess I'll be seeing you all this weekend. Have a nice weekend. Talk to you later. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.